Hi, this is Ben from Literature Review HQ and this is part of a video series where I'm explaining and demonstrating some of the features of my favourite mind mapping software, iMindMap. Um, if you haven't seen any videos up to now where I've gone through how to create a mind map and, and manipulate it in different ways, check out my YouTube channel, Literature Review HQ. Okay, so here we go. Um, everyone knows that one of the most important things about a mind map is that there's pictures on there. Uh, it kind of you put a relevant image on the mind map to associate it with the different words and ideas that you put on there, and it makes it easier to memorize things. Uh, and that's very easy to do with iMind Map. In fact, with uh, with all the versions, there's a, um, a kind of a clipart library associated with it, so you can find relevant images without even having any of your own. To do that, you simply go to Insert Image and um, you can do a search for whatever you like. So if I type in book, doing a search, you can see there's one of 61 pages there, um, which shows how many there are. Um, I'm going to select one example here. Um, and if I double click on it, it appears in the mind map associated with the branch which was selected when I click to insert the image. See if I move this branch, <clears throat> in fact that's actually, no, that's not actually associated with the branch because uh, apparently there wasn't a branch selected when I clicked on it. So this is just a free image, I could put this anywhere that I, anywhere that I want. So I'll put this image down here, next theme three, theme three. Uh, it's not associated with any of the branches. If you do want to associate, associate an image with a branch, you simply click on the branch first and then go insert image. And so I'll select a different image here. So I've just double clicked on that and it's inserted. Now this is associated with this branch. If I move it, you can see that the image actually moves with the branch. But that doesn't mean I can't still move this image around can still move it anywhere I want and it remains associated with the branch. Now you can change the image size as well with these uh, these boxes in the corner, you can change the shape, you can change the aspect ratio. So that's great, there's, there's loads of ways of putting really interesting images in there. Now if you've got any images of your own, that's just as easy to put in. You simply go to insert, <coughs> So you need to, you can't have an image selected when you do this, you go to insert and insert image from file. And you do it exactly in the same way and that's all there is to adding images to your mind map. Uh, so thanks for listening. If you want to get hold of a copy of iMindMap, simply go to www.literaturereviewhq.com forward slash iMindMap, download the free version uh, which also comes with a free trial of the paid versions, which is really, really worth checking out. So thanks very much for listening.